Hello. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to continue uh, discussing the Rocky movies by uh, discussing the first uh, spinoff, Creed. Um, now, having seen the previous six films um, at home and on TV and, and like Blu-ray, you know, like everybody, like that was it. Rocky Balboa was the last movie. That's the sixth one, and Stallone is permanently done. Um, but uh, Ryan Coogler, who was always a fan of the Rocky franchise, had an idea that uh, at one point he told Stallone, but he wasn't totally into it. And uh, later on, he thought about it and kind of. Oh, it might be uh, pretty interesting uh, to have uh, Rocky come back and just uh, sort of help train somebody else who she hasn't done since, you know, Tommy Gunn, which they do mention how, you know, in the film when we first see Rocky, when they meet, he doesn't really do that anymore because of, you know, uh, what all happened with Tommy. So he doesn't really train anymore. Uh, train people, like I sh should say, but, uh, you know, um, Adonis Johnson, Adonis Creed, he, uh, is played by Michael B. Jordan, of course, Sylvester Stallone returns as Rocky Balboa, and, um, you know, he's, at first, um, we see him meet the character at a uh, in a juvie getting into a fight and then we uh, later see he's uh, taken in by Apollo Creed's widow um, played by Melissa uh, uh, Felicia uh, Rashad, uh, or Rashad. Yeah, I can I can read yet pronounce words uh, terribly. It's a uh, I think that's a great talent to have in life. You know, just mispronounce things that you know. Uh, mispronounce words and names you know pretty well, and uh, you know she takes him in, and so once he's you know out of like Juvia and all, so he, she takes him and uh, uh, raises him, and he becomes uh, like a businessman. But he uh, quits his job because he wants to fight. You know, she doesn't want him to fight because of what happened to his father. You know, I mean, obviously, uh, Paula Creed had an affair, and resulted in this woman, Mrs. Johnson, getting pregnant, and then. From there, uh, she had Adonis, but she died when he was young, and so now he would go from home to home, and you know, until uh, the widow of his actor, you know, his father, biological father, comes and uh, takes him, and and it's very understandable why she doesn't want him to fight because of what happened to her husband. Um, but, you know, he's fighting in Tijuana. He wants to train in um, California, in L.A. He's not able to because uh, uh, Lil Duke, you know, uh, uh, the, the tra uh, Apollo Creed's trainer's son won't train him. Nobody will train him. He's going, I'll make sure nobody will ever train you. And uh, so... He goes to Philadelphia to meet Rocky and to try and get him to, uh, you know, help him to try and uh, uh, train him or at least as puts like, you know, just give him some tips on what to do because he primarily has trained himself. So I was like, all right, well, if you're not going to train me, then at least give me some tips on what to do. 
And from there, uh, Rocky Balboa starts to uh, give him tips and then starts to actually train him. Um, he meets a woman in a, a apartment building that he's uh, renting an apartment at um, named Bianca, played by Tessa Thompson. And she, uh, you know, she's a singer and she does music at a, like at a club and she's uh, been working towards getting uh, at a big venue in uh, Philadelphia that happens and so she and her uh, uh, like a band have got in and her group and so that's really exciting and she's a uh, she's got progressive hearing loss and she's uh has hearing aids and she's you know working on sign language and uh, just preparing for when the, the day will may come where she can't you know hear anymore so um a lot of things are going on in Donnie's life obviously and uh seems to be going well uh he goes to Mickey's gym to go and uh train but uh with and Rocky's there helping him and uh, uh there's this the guy who's uh, like a trainer there he wants uh Rocky to train his son but you know obviously uh Rocky is uh, very much uh, just just ha completely happy uh, to be, you know, uh, running the restaurant, um, and he uh, does uh, help uh, Adonis out, even though he. Uh, you know, that guy's not too thrilled, and uh, eventually the two of them fight, you know, the guy's son and Adonis. Uh, obviously, he's, prior to that, he's just fought fights in Tijuana. Um, but they uh, fight, and uh, uh, the guy's father, uh, his name's Pete, he uh, finds out that uh, Adonis is Creed's son, and Rocky wants this to be, you know, and uh, the guy says, yeah, all right, fine, and maybe you know, they, two of them, uh, they box, and uh, Donis wins, and, uh, you know, celebrating, you know, things are all good, and, uh, Yeah, uh, by the morning, uh, it's reported that you know he's a he's a Apollo Creed's son, and uh, Bianca didn't know that, and so uh, uh, you know that. Uh, and prior to that, you know, he said that you know Rocky Balboa was his uh, his uncle, and because then he moved in with Rocky to help train, and uh, that was, and that was pretty, uh, you know. Uh, pretty funny to see uh, uh, Rocky get up and uh, or get Adonis up at like uh, 545 you know, with music playing and he's all dressed and ready to go and it's obvious you know he's not ready and uh, I like the chemistry between uh, Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone they have great chemistry together in this movie and um, uh, this whole this whole uh, film, you know, like another Rocky, as well as just uh, you know continuing that you know sort of story with Rocky, which we now have like you know Polly passed away um, for uh, you know he brings a uh, Polly's uh, favorite drink. Uh, and then now chair that he has or is like worn out so it, you know could be the same one but also could be different but either way it's really cool just to see uh, uh, you know uh, 
Rocky uh, still visiting Adrian's grave as well as now Polly. So that's unfortunate, but I do think in a way it is, uh, it kind of sets up some stuff for, you know, Rocky with, as to what happens later. And um, we also hear that a Robert has, uh, uh, he and a gr girlfriend that he has uh, moved to Vancouver. You know, I'm assuming Vancouver, uh, Washington, not necessarily uh, in British Columbia, Canada, but I mean, we don't know. Uh, it's never really uh, specified, but it could be, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's probably Washington. Um, but, you know, he hears from him every so often, but not too much, so... Uh, for the most part, it's just Rocky, and, uh, you know, uh, there's, like, a world champion, uh, Ricky Collin, and um, his trainer wants to have uh, him fight Adonis Creed, and so he goes to talk to Rocky and Adonis, and, you know, Rocky isn't totally thrilled with this, but, you know, Eventually, they decide to train for the fight, and so as that happens, uh, Rocky gets sick. He's, you know, yeah, when helping him train, like spar and everything, um, or do that. That's not exactly sparring, but still, you know, just has the pads, so he's punching the pads on his hands like that, and uh, he gets sick, and so he just. Uh, you know, they take him to the hospital. Uh, later finds out he has cancer. And uh, with treatment, you know, he can has a better chance of... Uh, yeah, he has a better chance of uh, living but uh, and beating it. But he's not all, all on board with that because, you know, his wife... Uh, uh, did the treatment and that didn't work out well and he's fine with it he's fine with him passing on but uh obviously uh Donis is not totally uh thrilled with this when he uh <clears throat> finds out that he has cancer and isn't going to go with the treatment and uh from there with the big uh event that uh Bianca's at, he gets into, like, a fight and uh, is eventually, like, a, you know, arrested. Rocky comes to get him, and he, because he uh, apologizes for saying how, like, you know, they weren't family. You know, he's like, which he regrets right after he says, like, you know, why did you say that for? You know, he's... You know, he just didn't want to, he doesn't see too much purpose in living, you know. Uh, like outside of helping him train, you know, I guess for Rocky, he's like, you know, yeah, I've got a restaurant and all, but, you know, what am I going to do? Beyond that, like I, you know, his wife's gone, Polly's gone, son is moved, and, you know, and from what he says also, like, it wasn't too easy for him to, you know, live in uh, Philadelphia, um, being around and all, and so, you know, he moved uh, away, and so, and barely hears him, so he doesn't really have too much in his mind to keep going, but, uh, because of the fight and everything, you know, Bianca doesn't really want to talk to him, you know, and he tells her that he, he's sick and has cancer and he's not going to really go with the, tr uh, treatment. So he goes to talk to him and says, you know, if you, uh, you fight, I fight. So basically if you get, you know, you do the treatment, then I'm going to, you know, do the fight. So they had that kind of arrangement. And so, because he hasn't been going to the gym while he's, uh, you know, 
being treated for cancer, he was like, well, you know what, you're going to do stuff here then. You're going to do like push-ups and shadow boxing and all this stuff. You're going to do that in the hospital. And so he does. And he's like, hey, well, at one point the nurse comes in to, hey, don't get the lady, you know, she'll knock you down. Which is pretty funny and also kind of a rocky thing to say. Um, he's training montages in all these movies. I know I didn't really say anything much when talking about these movies here, but uh, just uh, all the training montages in these movies are all, they're all amazing. They're all excellent. Uh, very well done. And it's just, you know, obviously it gets the point across, but it's just so fantastic. Um, so uh, later on, they go to Liverpool for the fight. Um, and Bianca arrives, uh, which Rocky seems to have invited her. And uh, there's a present from his mom that he doesn't open until the, you know, the actual fight. And it's uh, his father's trunk. So it says Creed and on the back says Johnson. And he uh, wears them. And then later on they go and fight. You know, they go to uh, go to the ring. People are, you know, kind of booing him because, you know, he's new. You know, he's not the champ. You know. So, uh, I, Ricky arrives in the ring and then they, uh, start to go at it. And, uh, this movie in a lot of ways mirrors the first Rocky. Um, you know, you got like an underdog, like story, you know, in this case, Adonis is, uh, in the shadow of, uh, Apollo Creed. Um, and doesn't want people to know his last name. You know, or the last name of his father. You know, he's went by Johnson basically his whole life, and he's fine with that. He just wants to do his own thing, and he uh, but by the end, he does embrace it. You know, part of the condition of the fight is he has to, he has to have the last name Creed. Uh, you know, it, and by the end, he basically embraces it like he is a Creed, and so, uh, you know, he's, a uh, first few rounds are going on, and, you know, uh, he's getting beat up, but then he's, well, he's some good blows to Ricky, and eventually just goes, they go back and forth, you know, uh, he gets knocked down at one point, but then he gets right back up, and the fight continues, and, uh, so, you know, Adonis that is, not Ricky, but uh, they keep going and eventually uh, 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 get uh, in the last round, uh, Adonis just uh, hits Ricky in the face and then he falls to the ground and he... Uh, which is the very first time he has ever been knocked out in his professional career. Like, he has never been knocked out. And he gets up in time, and then it's to say that, you know, uh, you know, Ricky is still a champ. He has the world champion, and uh, he says some words, and now, like, you know, sees Rocky as family and wants to apologize to his mom, because he probably, if she's watching, she probably is, you know, you know, she's like, she's watching, she's probably... She didn't want me to fight, but, you know, I hope I made her proud. And I, she was, you had me scared for a moment. I'm like, almost had, ever had a heart attack. And, uh, it's just a very good, you know, happy ending, really. You know, he didn't win the fight, but at the end of the day, he did win, like Rocky. Rocky didn't win the fight in the first movie, but he won all the same. It doesn't matter if he won the actual fight he went all the way went the distance basically and sam is here you know he he did everything and so it's just uh it's it's really cool how this is a in a way a sequel 
but it's also like, you know, a spin-off. Um, while at the same time, a mirror to the uh, original as well. It's just, it's sort of like a, a sort of semi-soft reboot done right. And because uh, sometimes these soft reboots are just meh. They might mean well, perhaps, um, depending on whichever one you talk about. But overall, they're, you know, not that great. But, and the film ends with uh, Dennis and Rocky going up the stairs of the museum. You know, and he's a... Uh, wants to take a break he's like no no you get to take a break up uh, at the top and so they keep going and we also at the beginning we see the rocky statue it's still there at the front uh, to this day and uh it's like you know when you uh you know you get to the step of the stairs and you, you know, look out at this city you can like see your whole life you're like how's it look it looks pretty good and uh yeah, I I really love this movie. Um It's an it's an excellent film. Uh Yeah, I don't know. I I would rank this very highly of the franchise. I know it's a spin-off technically, but you know, it, it's good. It's respects what came before it, but it is also doing it's like its own thing in a very good in a very good way, not a very like, uh, like kind of a smack to the face of what came before it. So that's that's good. This is an excellent film. I love it. And um, it's it's an amazing film. And you know, rewatching this, I just wish I had seen this in the theater. It came out like around like uh, Thanksgiving, two thousand fifteen. So, and and I could have seen it like obviously like in uh, December or even January, but of 2016. But I just didn't. I don't know why. <clears throat> obviously, we're Thanksgiving and everything. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's busy, but after a while, after things would cool down or calm down within the, like the next month or so, I could have definitely seen this. In the theater but I didn't hopefully one day uh, they will re-release this just because you know because why not they can and uh, it, it would just be amazing uh, to see on the big screen um, but because of that I didn't see the second Creed on the big screen and I haven't seen this third film on the big screen so I'll talk about that later on this year when it's out on Blu-ray or 4K, whatever. And, uh, well, one of the things with the training montage is, like, sort of like, uh, Rocky 2, where all the people sort of, like, start to follow, uh, Rocky in that. Here, it's like, you know, people start to follow, uh, Adonis, and, uh, this guy's on, like, you know, like, little, like, like, little, like, dirt bikes, motorbikes, whatever, in the streets, and, like, are you, like, yeah, they yeah they go around and they ride those down the streets and you know, they make a lot of noise. <clears throat> and uh, it's just a great, great film. And um, Sylvester Stallone got nominated for an Academy Award, won a Golden Globe, Critics' Choice Award. He didn't get nominated for the BAFTAs. I believe he got nominated for the SAG, and he didn't win the SAG, and he didn't win the Academy Award, which he should have won. Um, he was nominated for the first film for his performance, as well as writing the screenplay, but he should have won for this. Um, this is also the film that, you know, the first film, uh, at, at least at this point of a franchise, that he didn't write. He had, had no hand in writing it, but he did produce the film, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, he should have won an Academy Award. Uh, went to Mark Rylance for uh, uh, Bridge of Spies and uh, 
that's a good film. And uh, he was fine. He was very good in it. But uh, I've seen all of the people nominated for Best Supporting Actor that year. Christian Bale in The Big Short. Tom Hardy in The Revenant. Islands in Bridge of Spies, of course. And uh, Mark Ruffalo in Searchlight. Or Spotlight. That's what it was. Spotlight. Stallone's performance is still the best. But um, I've heard apparently uh, what was, I guess, uh, like an anonymous voter or whatever, people who uh, uh, remember Stallone back in the late 70s and the or early 80s and all of the 80s, I guess, you know, and really where really the height of his career was really reaching, where he could do really whatever he wanted and people wouldn't really that much of an eye but all right he wants to do this fine you, know, you offer him this he's gonna do it cool like he could just do really whatever he wanted basically pick and choose what roles in films he wanted to do also of course you know he became also like a not only just a writer but he also became like a director so he could direct stuff do whatever he wanted in that regard too <clears throat> so yeah, and Stallone, you know, eh, he kind of was a bit full of himself for a period of time and kind of rubbed people the wrong way. And some of these people, by the time the Academy Awards happened, some of those people, I guess, might have voted against him just because they remember back in like the late 70s or in the 80s, he was a jerk to them. And, uh, I remember seeing some interviews where he's like, you know, there was a period of time that was like really in the 90s or so, like really like the somewhere the between somewhere around the early the mid 90s, he really kind of like mellowed out because his career kind of went wasn't as high as it once was because in the 80s not only was he continuing with the Rocky films, but he also had Rambo. Speaking of Rambo, uh, the uh, like the trainer and the manager of the of Ricky, uh, he was in Rambo, uh, Rambo Four, I guess I should say. So that's kind of cool to see somebody that was already in a previous, who had worked with Stallone in the past, is back again working with him now, but now as an actor, not actor director kind of relationship. But yeah, he. Uh, but yeah, this movie is really just really good I just I, I love watching this especially after watching the previous six movies uh, you know these movies really make you want to just get up and go and just do something whatever that is I don't know uh, hopefully it's something not bad uh, just get up and just I don't know be a train or just do whatever you know uh go from being like the underdog to trying to be like the champ of something and uh that's definitely a great uh, uh moral to basically this franchise really and yeah that's that's really all I have to say um the music is by Ludwig Gorgson who um in the past like five six uh, years or so really become huge won an Academy Award for uh, <clears throat> Black Panther for the score for that film uh, composed Tenet and is going to do the score for Oppenheimer this year so that's pretty cool but yeah that's all I have to say for uh, Creed hope all of you uh, uh, can, you can all uh, give your thoughts on it uh, say what you want and yeah do you enjoy this film do you dislike it do you think the performances are great do you think uh stallone gave his career best such as i do i think it's not only the best of his not just as rocky but just in his career in general like he just gave it his all and that's kind of puts a little damper in the whole fact that he didn't win an oscar but I guess some people will just hold grudges. 
And also, as my brother-in-law said, he did a porn once. And, you know, can't give an Oscar to somebody who did that, you know. They don't honor that kind of behavior. <laughs> yeah. Or somebody who did that. You know, that's just deplorable, I guess. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I hope all of you are doing well. Hope all of you are having a, had a, or had a great week weekend, and hope you all have a great week. I'll see you all next time. Bye.